If you're gay, use this audio. Put a video of you up and see if people think you are a top, bottom, power bottom, verse, or a dominant top. What do y'all think I am? Put in the comments below. What are you doing? Oh, you're doing something with your hands. It says... I don't smell. Well, not anymore. <laughs> It may get bigger, it may get a little bigger, it may not get bigger at all. We'll see what happens. But regardless of what happens, we're totally prepared. If you are a straight white man in 2021, I just want to let you know that you are loved and you're accepted. <laughs> not by me, not by me, love. But I'm sure there's someone out there with terrible taste that loves you. Mwah. He texted me. What did he say? He said, hey. What was it like, hey, or like, Hey, I, I think it's like, hey, just text him back. Just, just text him back. It's not worth waiting. Okay. But like, what do I say back? Like, do I say, Hey, mm, I would definitely go hi. Cause you don't want to repeat what he said. Great point. I could say hello. Right. But hello is way too formal. I mean, I need to say something, right? Yeah. I mean, he wouldn't text you if he didn't want you to text him back. But am I going to look lame if I respond right away? Do you want me to put a picture of you on my Instagram so he knows you're out? What if he figures out it's an old photo? You know what? Text him in an hour. I'm just gonna text him tomorrow. Yeah, text him tomorrow. Tomorrow is better. Maybe I should text him. I don't. My favorite straight boy question to answer. The creme de la creme of straight boy questions. Are you a tits or an ass man? You really gotta just lock eyes with them, show no fear, and just be like, ass. They're gonna ask you why. They always ask why. And once again, you just gotta, boom, ass. Why? Men don't have tits. That's it. That's it. Walk away. Then they always hit you with the, oh, I don't care if you're gay, but do you like me? <laughs> Kyle, that is embarrassing. Why would you even ask me that? You get scared to wash your own ass because it makes you feel insecure. I'm trying to find a power bottom. You don't even look like you know what a douche is, much less how it functions despicable do i like you i barely even fucking tolerate you ugly ass then they'd be like you lying and i look them dead in their shit and i said smell yourself and tell me i'm still lying do not eat lady gaga oreos they're turning people gay and i have proof this is me watching tv before ingesting and this is me after do you see the difference gay gay if ingested by your child, do not call 911. That number has been taken over by Lady Gaga. Listen, if you have Grindr, delete it. It is toxic. You do not need validation from random men. Like, just know your worth and just delete it. Okay, I never said this was about me, so... Homosexuality is the result of not having a dominant father figure present in that little boy's life. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> He sat there <laughs> with the straightest face the whole time. Like, you can tell this nigga believes the words that are coming out of his mouth. He said, the whole time. <sighs> oh, but in all seriousness, I want, I want this, why? <laughs> This is, this is stupid. Like, I don't know what else to say. There are a lot of LGBT peeps that I know who had both parents in their lives, both, you know, played the role of being masculine and feminine and nurturing and loving and all the good jazz, still homophobic as fuck, still disowned them, kicked them out despite all the love and affection they showed them. Clearly, it was conditional. But, so the validity to this statement, I don't really know. I shall call it Twinkle Toes. Aussie! Twinkle Toes. Aussie! Twinkle Toes! Aussie! Who was interested first? Who said I love you first? Who's more protective? Who cleans more? Who eats the most? Who spends the most money? Who is most likely to start an argument? Who falls asleep first? Who is more annoying? Who loves the hardest?
Y'all ain't gonna believe what happened to me the other day. So I go into the clinic to get tested like we do before every shoot. And these doctors, they know what we're in there for. Like it's in our paperwork that we're an adult film. And he pulls out a swab and he's like, okay, we're gonna swab the back of your throat for COVID. He's like, you might gag, like it's a normal response. Almost everyone does it. And then he looks at my paperwork and he looks back at me and he's like, well, you might not. And I was just like, okay, I get it. Like I deep throat nine inch cocks for a living. But boo, I still have a gag reflex. I don't know what happened, but somewhere along the line, you've been horribly misinformed. Are you in a romantic relationship with your own father? That's a dumb question and honestly a little bit insulting. So I'm just gonna give you a video of us kissing and the answer should be obvious. So it is your dad. You guys are sick. <laughs> hey. Ow. Hey babe, finish the lyric. Ready, set, go. Cause you said forever, now I beat my meat to my phone. Uh. <laughs> I'm tired of seeing it, so here we go. Bitch, you gotta like you about to knock somebody the fuck out. Bitch, Corvette, Corvette, it is not Corvette, Corvette. I don't know what kind of Corvette y'all drive, but I drive that motherfucker that go like Corvette, Corvette, hop in the motherfucker jet like that. You see how I'm making that ass jet like that? You got a jet like that. Y'all be looking like some stiff ass kangaroos. Jet like that. No, jet like that. So, bitch, Corvette, Corvette, hop in a motherfucking jet like that. Some, 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 some. They be like, Pop, why you all like? Why you talk like that? You gotta hit slow mo. Doom, doom, doom. Whoever started this, you can go to hell because that is not right. It only takes one. It only takes one. Y'all ever notice it's always the DL, like, no face, no case motherfuckers who are always the meanest towards other gays? Like, if you're gonna pretend to be straight, can you at least pretend to be, like, a cool straight person? Like, why the fuck are you acting conservative knowing you suck dick on the down low? Just be nice. Like, it's the projecting for me. Everybody has a gay cousin. Bitch, I don't have a gay cousin. Wait. Oh shit, I am the gay. Oh my god. I'm tired of seeing it. So here we go. Bitch. You gotta act like you about to knock somebody the fuck out. Bitch. Corvette, Corvette. It is not Corvette, Corvette. I don't know what kind of Corvette y'all drive, but I drive that motherfucker that go like Corvette, Corvette. Hop in the motherfucker jet like that. You see how I'm making that ass jet like that? You got a jet like that. Y'all be looking like some stiff ass kangaroos. Jet like that. No. Jet like that. So, bitch. Corvette, Corvette. Hop in the motherfucker. Jet like that. Some, 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 some. They be like, Pop, why you all like? Why you talk like that? You gotta hit slow mo. Doom, doom, doom. Whoever started this, you can go to hell because that is not right. It only takes one. Only takes one. If you're gay, use this audio. Put a video of you up and see if people think you are a top, bottom, power bottom, verse, or a dominant top. What do y'all think I am? Put in the comments below. Like this that. is your man. Yes. Look at the screen. That's mine. And, and, I, and, and I'm going to stick and beside that's, him. And that's what you're going to settle for. I'm going to stick beside him. What was your most embarrassing bottoming story? I promise this is a true story. So I met this guy off of uh, Adam for Adam. He had a giant. And he was a top and I was a top and I decided to be brave and bottom for the first time. And even with lube, it was the worst experience I've ever had bottoming for the first time. And I'll be honest, I was bleeding and my insides hurt like hell. And days later, I was still in pain. So I decided to go see a doctor about it. And the nurse ended up being the guy like... It was really awkward to have to tell him why I was in. I literally said, like, I'm here because of you. He assured me that he didn't have any STDs and he was on prep. 
so it was nice we surmised that i had some bruising inside <laughs> and um we ended up making out in the nursing office <laughs>